Hi guys, today I'm gonna be reading Lost and Found, three dog stories by Jim Lamar. Story one, Molly. That's enough, says, said Anna's mother. You need time out. Anna slammed her door and flopped down on her bed. You're the only one who loves me, Molly, she said. Then she had an idea. Shh. Anna and Molly marched through the tall grass, up a rocky hill, then into the woods. Come on, Molly. They crossed the creek, climbed over boulders, and hiked into the aspen grove. Anna dragged big stone to make some walls. She spread out aspen leaves to make a bed. We'll build our own house right here, Molly. While Anna napped, Molly watched. Molly's bark woke Anna up. What are you barking at, Molly? There's nothing out there. Anna looked all around her. The sky was getting dark. I think we should go home now, Molly. But which way was home? Then Anna has an idea. Home, Molly, she said. Please go home. Molly sniffed the ground, and Anna followed Molly through the aspens, back over the boulders. She sniffed the air, then she looked back at Anna and wagged her tail, across the creek and out of the wood, until at last, they were home. Story two, Ginger. Wake up, Ginger. Jules scratched Ginger behind her ear. She loved that. Old、oh, Jules said, "Mom, why do you let Ginger sleep on your jacket? You're going to smell like a dog." "Good," said Jules. "I want to smell like Ginger." "Rise and shine," Dad called. "The pancakes are almost ready, and we have a perfect day for our hike." Jules got dressed while Dad packed their lunch. "Jump, Ginger! You two dogs are going to get bugs in your teeth." Jules and Ginger lived out of the truck running. It was a perfect day. They hiked all morning on their favorite trail. At the creek, they ate tuna sandwiches and drank cold lemonade. Then they looked for the smoothest rocks. Suddenly, something caught Ginger's eyes. Ginger, stop! cried Jules, but Ginger didn't stop. Ginger, stay! yelled Dad, but Ginger was off. Jules and his dad quickly put on their socks and shoes and scrambled up the bank, but Ginger was gone. Together they called, "One, two, three, Ginger!" They listened, nothing. Then they searched deep into the woods, but there was still no sign of Ginger. After hours of looking, Dad stopped and knelt down. "Jules, we have to start back," he said. "But Dad, we can't leave Ginger here!" cried Jules. We'll start looking again at dawn," said Dad. "We'll find Ginger, I promise." By the time they got back to the truck, the sun had set. Without a word, they climbed in and started down the road. Dad, stop! Stop! Jules jumped out of the truck and ran back to the edge of the woods. He spread out his jacket in the grass. Jules worried all through the night. Was Ginger frightened? Was she safe? Would she find his jacket? Jules and his dad drove back to the woods at dawn. Jules ran through the high grass. Ginger, Ginger, he yelled. At the sound of his voice, Ginger popped up her head from her warm bed. Ginger was found. Story three, Yuki. Hey, don't eat that," said Jack. He searched around in his backpack until he found half a bologna sandwich. He held it out to the dog. Here, he said, "Try this." The dog scoffed down the sandwich in one bite. "You must be starving," said Jack. "What's your name, boy?" He checked the dog's collar. "Yuki." "Well, come on, Yuki. You can come home with me." "Mom, look what I found!" Jack shouted. "Oh my!" said Mom. Can we keep him? I'll feed him and walk him. He won't be any trouble. He can't stay here, Jack," said Mom. "There's no room in the trailer, and we can't afford to feed him. Besides, this dog belongs to someone. He is a purebred." "Please, Mom," said Jack. 
I'm sorry, Jack," said Mom. "Some day, when I find a job and we get a nice place, I promise we'll get a dog." That evening, Jack made a found poster. In the morning, they made copies of it at the library. Then they posted the signs around the neighborhood. Nobody came to claim Yuki on the first day, or the second, or the third. By the end of the week, it looked like no one would claim Yuki. "You're gonna be mine, boy," Jack whispered. And then one morning, an old woman came to the door. "Yuki, Yuki." This is Mrs. Marino," said Mom. "Thank you so much for taking care of Yuki, Jack." Said Mrs. Marino, "I was so worried about him. He was really my husband's dog, you see." The two of them spent every day together in Joe's studio until Joe died. I think Yuki runs off looking for his old friend. He's a great dog," said Jack. It looks like he feels the same way about you," said Mrs. Marino. Mrs. Marino looked at Jack and Yuki, then at the little trailer. "Would you be interested in a job?" she asked Mom. So Jack and Mom moved into Mr. Marino's studio. Mom went to work cooking and cleaning for Mrs. Marino. And Jack and Yuki? Well, Yuki never ran away again. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to Cute Cat Critic for more reading like this one.